Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another audio by Kay's Kronos. I hope you're remembering to take care of yourself and have had a fantastic week. Hey, Starlight, how's it going? Are you settling in okay? Glad to hear it. I mean, I kind of figured from the looks of this place, but I just wanted to be sure. So, you're not just this messy back home in the mortal realm, huh? Yeah, about that. I've been meaning to ask you, how did you pull that off? I was half expecting Father to send you back to the mortal realm without even looking at you. Either that or smite you where you stood. And yet, somehow, you walked out of there, not only with all of your limbs intact, but an invitation to dinner? Yeah, sure, you're charming. If by charming, you mean childish and irritating. It doesn't matter what you wear, you'll look great in anything. Uh, I just mean, you know, you're not bad looking f for a mortal. In the right light, you're even kind of, um, cute. Though, if you want my advice, maybe stay away from the blue chitin. You don't want anything that's going to accentuate your dark circles. <laughs> Fine. Suit yourself. It's not like I'll be there to see it. I don't know. You're the one he invited. Not me. Things work a little differently when your father is a god. I may be his son, but I'm not exactly in his uh, good graces right now. I'll show up, but I'm not making any promises. Though, to be honest, he might not even notice that I'm at the table. <laughs> not that complicated. I do my work, and he ignores me. Except for when I do something wrong, of course. And then he pauses everything to chew me out. Really simple. Oh no, of course it doesn't bother me. It's fine. Just peachy. It's not like there's anything I can do about it, though. So what's the point? No. Why would he be interested in my feelings? Yeah, right. So I should just waltz into his office and start pouring my heart out. Maybe play some sad violin music in the background while I'm at it. <sighs> Look, just forget it. I said forget it. It's none of your business anyways. <sighs> no, I... I'm sorry. You're just trying to help. You can't, but... <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. Yeah. He was never around much when we were growing up. He's always had so much shit to do. <sighs> Ever since Aunt Athena breathed life into the mortals. I mean, I get it. It's a lot for me sometimes. And I'm only in charge of dreams. I can't imagine how much he must have on his plate. Being the god of sleep in general. It's just, I don't know. It's not like it takes a ton of time to say, Good job. Would it kill him to do it every once in a while? Yeah. I guess invisible is a good way to put it. Ironic uh, that my job literally requires me to be invisible most of the time. I, I just want him to see me, you know. I tried to help. I did everything I was supposed to do and more. I learned how to use my sand. I offered to take over the dream department to give him a break. I helped manage the uh, Oniri, but I don't know. I did everything right, at least uh, up until now, but no matter what I do, it's never enough. I could kick Zeus off his damned throne at Olympus, and I doubt Father would even look up from his work. I just want to be worth something to him. At this rate, I'm going... I'm just... I'm just a waste of space. Well, of course you'd say that, but... Well, 
Thanks. It's nice to know someone appreciates me at least. I... I guess I could try t talking to Father, I mean. I doubt he'll listen, but if he doesn't, I guess I'm no worse off than I started. Uh, sure. Like I said, I don't think there's much that you can do, but I... I appreciate it anyways. Thanks, Starlight. So, um, how are you liking Erebus so far? <laughs> what? Were you expecting it to be all doom and gloom? It's the place where the recently deceased passed through en route to the underworld. Therefore, it must be a hellish wasteland. Nah, I get it. It is beautiful. The poppy fields. Soft grays of the landscape. The golden rapids of the Leith. Oh, just FYI, don't ever drink that water. Unless you want to forget literally everything about who you are. You won't even remember your name. I fell in once as a kid. And even being a god, it took me uh, about a month to get all my marbles back. Zero out of five stars. Would not recommend. Why do I talk like what? All modern? Hey, you're the one that told me I should get with the times. Why shouldn't I use modern words? I guess it's because, I don't know. Despite the fact that you mortals can be annoying sometimes, I've got to hand it to you. You're pretty resilient. The civilizations that worshipped us died out long ago. But even when they crumbled, you humans just kept going. No matter what life throws at you, wars, disasters, pandemics, you always somehow pick yourselves back up and just keep on existing. And some of the shit you've come up with in the past 1500 years is pretty sweet. Indoor plumbing, air conditioning, sour gummy worms. What, what bags? Inside the amphora? Ugh. Okay, listen to me. You absolutely can't let anyone know about those, okay? Nothing is supposed to cross from the mortal realm into Erebus except souls. If Father found out... What? Are you seriously trying to blackmail me? You little shit! You think... You don't count as one of those mortal goods yourself? I mean, okay, Father already knows about you and seems to like you somehow. But still, you never know. He might throw you out along with all my gummy worms. <sighs> fine, fine. You can have some. Just keep quiet. Please. Fine, two bags. <sighs> You drive a hard bark in starlight. I'm almost impressed. Hey, I said almost. I fully expect you to pay me back once we're back in the mortal realm. I don't know, either when we've dealt with this or when father's patience runs out. One of the two. We will. I'm thinking of a plan. He is a sneaky bastard. But he's not invincible. With any luck, when he can't find you in the mortal realm, he'll just pick a new target. If not, though, I don't know. I'll think of something. Just give me more time. I know. I can't blame you for being scared. Having a demon after you would be enough to make Hercules quake in fear, let alone a regular mortal. But honestly, You've been as brave as any hero. The way you fought his power however you could, and then withstood meeting him face to face. You even let me whisk you away to a strange realm. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure if that part was brave or just stupid. But still, you're pretty badass. Oh, come on. Don't get all mushy on me. Maybe I am going a little bit beyond my job description. 
But I hate that bastard as much as you do. I'm not about to let him win. We're gonna get him. I promise. <sighs> Alright, one more hug. Damn, how are you always so warm? You're like Aunt Hestia's sacred flame. I could get used to this. Oh, I, I, I gotta go. If I'm gonna crash your little dinner party, I've gotta go get changed. Just remember anything but the blue chitin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you too. See you later, Starlight. And thanks again for listening all the way to the end. I hope you have a fantastic day.